Hey guys, today I will show you how to change this into this. So first of all, parts and tools that we need. We need a set of blind spot monitoring lights. Uh, this is a set for um, uh, Volkswagen Passat V8 or Volkswagen Arteon and it came with this uh, 20 centimeter of cable and connector over here. I got this on AliExpress. It's linked in the description below this video. It was fairly cheap, I have to say, and the brightness is uh, uh, very good. I'm very uh, happy with how this works. I have the passenger side done, and right now we are going to do the driver's side. So, what else do we need? We need uh, uh, prying tools uh, to remove the cap, uh, great to have a suction cup like uh, like this to remove the uh, uh, side mirror insert uh, we need this uh, template this will make uh, our work a lot faster and uh, if you want to make a template like this there's also a link to the file in the description below this video something scratchy glue part of uh, old uh, plastics about two millimeters uh, thick Masking tape, isolation tape, files, both flat and round. This will be very useful. A grinding tool and a drill. Also, you need extension cord and uh, a soldering gun and other, uh, other uh, standard equipment. So, let's get to it. Let's start with the mirror insert. You can either Try it. There's a lot of play over here, so you can fit your prying tools, or you can try to use a suction cup to pull it out from the locks. Much easier. So over here we have the uh, heating element. The connector for heating element and over here there's the element for the factory uh, indicator which is over here and we are not going to remove this if you are not comfortable with uh, leaving your glass hanging over here of course you can disconnect it but I'm going to do just this just pry it from those uh, holders over here need to remove it from them like so and then gently move it out from this connector over here. Okay. Now for the mirror cap, there are two locks. One is over here, you need to pry it downwards, and one is over here. You also need to pry it downwards. And uh, at the same time, if you Put the prying tool over here in this gap and provide some tension as soon as those two locks are unlocked the cup will slightly move to the front of the vehicle. And this is out. I should have mentioned that we are going to cut a hole over here to fit this fit this light. But if you are not comfortable with cutting your original cups, you can buy one, buy a set of cups that are uh, that are already ready for the uh, indicator light over here, the blind spot monitoring indicator light. And I am going to link it as well in the description below, below this video, also available on AliExpress. Since I'm not going to use the original indicator over here, I want to relocate this cable to the other side of the assembly. But you can just add the 
light over here additional light and wire it as uh, with this in parallel so both the original light and the uh, aftermarket <laughs> oem plus light will work at the same time i'm just going to cut this because i don't want this original indicator to be working at all i just want those passat arton lights so i'm going to relocate this cable to the other side this is a two pin connector and if you have something pointy and you press over here you can release the uh, terminal from the connector assembly and thanks to that you will be able to fit those two wires over here so let's try to do this press it out press it out and now and now we are here you can add wire strippers to the list of components and tools so I'm removing original connectors like so now I can remove this seal over here strip those wires one and two and right now we can solder the new connector so over here the green red is positive and the green brown is negative and this is the connector that came with the light over here we have uh, purple red or blue red and brown brown is negative and the red one is positive brown and red to red just to be honest what I should have done is use shrinking tubes over here and not the isolation tape alone so please don't do the same mistake as I did and add the add shrinking tubes to the list of required components I'm going to try to seal it as well as I possibly can with this but still shrinking tubes over here would do a great job You can see that there's a lot of wiring over here and that's actually a good thing if you are going to keep the blind spot light over here permanently attached to the cap you want this extra um, extra length of the cable just to be able to replace the cap uh, without pulling on the uh, pulling on the wiring over here and there's a lot of room to hide it if you need it before we go further let's connect the light and let's check if it actually works ignition on and it's working okay so I believe we can modify the cup right now next step I've cleaned the cup just to remove all the dust and make the masking tape uh, attached properly and I've attached my template to the side mirror so the important part is over here you want to align this with this edge to make sure that the lower edge of the indicator is uh, parallel to the lower edge of the mirror cap and height of this is about 20 millimeters 
thanks to that the curvature of the cup will um, pretty much align with the curvature of the um, of the blind spot light and when it comes to the distance from the light to this edge this is the mirror surface um, it's about 13 millimeters over here to the not to the uh, end of this assembly but to the uh, edge of the of the visible part because this lip goes underneath the plastic part of the mirror and I'm talking uh, about the visible part so you need to find this little edge over here and measure about 13 millimeters from here and right now with the template in place I believe I can use my pointy tool to scratch this uh, uh, onto the onto the mirror cap so no return from here Okay, so the cutting part will be uh, a pretty difficult thing. You need to be very careful not to damage the cup. So I'm going to guide you through the process over here. And then I will for more, most likely show you a time lapse of the procedure. So first of all, with a drill, we want to make a couple holes here, 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 and here. Then we want to use something to connect those four, remove this piece. And once this is removed, all we need to do is, uh, um, is expand those edges to fit the template that we uh, previously applied to the mirror cup. And once this is done, we can try to fit the, try to fit the light. And uh, I have to say that when, I, uh, when I've been doing the passenger side, I've noticed that the template is a little bit smaller than the light. So this is actually a good thing. You can try to fit it and gently expand those edges uh, until the light, until the light uh, pops in the cup. And once, uh, once it's in, you can just make sure that all those edges are as smooth as possible. And now we are ready to install it back in the vehicle. You can see that I've added those plastic 
tabs over here which uh, makes uh, which make it possible for this light to clip in inside so I did not use glue to attach the light to the cup instead I've made those holders over here and the light uh, snaps into those uh, clips thanks to those thanks to this design of the of the light also I've added some um, insulation tape over here just to make sure that this will be rattle free it's a uh, um, hand of hate the design and I'm I'm not as precise as uh, this requires it to be to be stable over here so I've added this tape just to make sure it will uh, be uh, held here properly okay so right now let's connect this and put the cap back on the mirror Now before putting back the mirror insert, make sure that those two locks are actually locked. If they're not, you need to pull the uh, cover towards the rear of the vehicle and make sure that those locks are locked. And now let's place the mirror back in place. It should just clip like so. So let's check if this works. Ignition on. Blind spot is disabled right now, so when I enable it, let's see how this looks. Much brighter. Notice that this uh, um, left side mirror is in full sun, so the brightness is very high over here, and the original pictogram over here would not be visible at all. And even though the um, environment environment is very bright right now, we can still see this blind spot indicator let's check this one as well yeah this is uh, this is the way it should be from the factory and uh, if uh, someone is curious why Volkswagen is doing this to Golf Mark 7 this strange design with small LED in the mirror insert when there's a great solution in Passat Arteon in a whole Audi, um, Audi um, range of vehicles well I can only guess but I believe that since Golf is the same car as Audi A3 8V technologically speaking they need to make some differences uh, between those two cars to justify the Audi price when compared to Golf so that's why we don't get as much optional equipment over here and even when we get some optional equipment it's I believe intentionally downgraded uh, for the Audi to look better when comparing to Golf Mark 7. Okay once again the, in the description below this video you will have more details as well as part numbers and links to AliExpress and that's it for today give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and subscribe for future ones see you soon